Good everyone. I hope you're having an amazing day. Um, so today I'll be talking about uh, how to use the Visual Force page in the Lightning environment. Uh, I briefly touched about this topic initially when I started the series. Um, I'm gonna go through in more details. Uh, I do understand that Visual Force is a legacy technology, and you know I really won't advise you guys to you know build anything new on Visual Force if you have a resource uh, to build on LWC. But that being said, right, at certain times you might have to you know use Visual Force page in the Lightning environment, maybe because you have lots of Visual Force page and you think it's not easy to get rid of them at that stage. Uh, perhaps you might have a roadmap in, in future to, you know, convert your Visual Force page to LWC or, you know, or make it compatible with the Lightning, right? So what I wanted to show you that, I mean, if you are using Visual Force page, that's okay. I mean, you can still use uh, in the Lightning framework. You don't have to switch to Classic to make use of your Visual Force page. That's something you have to understand from an exam point of view. Uh, even not from not only from an exam point of view, but also from an overall understanding of the framework, how the two framework can work together. Okay, so the first thing, right? So let's say you have a Visual Force page. You wanted to use that uh, within uh, your Lightning page, right? Can you do that? Absolutely, you can do that. I'll just show you a very simple example. So if you go to Contact, right? So I've used a I've embedded a Visual Force page to the Lightning page. I'm just gonna show you what it is. So now, if you look at this, right, this specific one, this con delete contact, all right, this is not a lightning, okay? This is a Visual Force page, okay? Now I'll show you. So if you go to um, edit page, um, and if I go to the, um, Visual Force, so see this, this is a Visual Force, right? And so this is a Visual Force, and I've given the Visual Force page name, right? So, and to uh, a user, right? A user won't find much difference. You know, for a user, it's pretty much a similar experience, uh, except this warning sign, don't worry about the warning sign. But otherwise, from a look and feel perspective, it pretty much looks like you're in the Lightning uh, it's like a lightning page, right? So that's one of the reasons why I said uh, that you can, uh, you know, embed your Visual Force page and make it look like lightning page. But that being said, if you have a JavaScript component, uh, if you use a lot of JavaScript, then you might need to do some extra bit of tweak to get it work in an efficient way, right? Uh, so that's one of the things you have to keep into consideration. Uh, another thing you can use an, as an action, right? So for instance, I have built an action I mean, I've used the same Visual Force page. I just named it as a contact. So, you know, when you open it, it opens the same for you, right? This is pretty straightforward. You know, I hope you guys know how to create an action. Uh, it's it's not a biggie, right? So if you don't know, I'm just going to show you anyway. So you go to um, uh, this gecko icon, edit object, right? And uh, so this takes you to the... Uh, the contact um, object, right? And then you go to the button links and actions. So you go here and you just do the new action, right? So when you do new action, uh, you have an option to choose a custom visual force page. And then you can pick your visual force page. Then you go to the, uh, the page layout, then pick and choose uh, where you wanted to drop it to your classic or to the mobile, right? So or lightning page. So that's pretty simple. Okay, you can do this. Now you can also create a global action. I'm um, just going to show you that as well. So you can use Visual Force page in you know lots of places. Uh, Salesforce has given you that option at this stage. Um, you know they are not putting a kill switch to it, so you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry uh, thinking, oh, I might have to do everything overnight. Now you can take your own time, but what I suggest, right? You should have a a roadmap strategy or you should have a migration strategy in place because you know salesforce might come back to, you know to us and say in you know a couple of years time and say look uh, it's too hard to maintain visual force we might 
you know put an end to the support for all so we encourage all of our customers to migrate to like lwc say by this day right can happen big companies can always do that because you know it's their product they have a monopoly on this platform so you know you can't really say that right because when you decides to use this platform you have agreed to things that you know the salesforce will upgrade which is good right because they have to upgrade the platform otherwise you know they can add the features right so um so keeping to consideration if you are a company who is used extensively visual force page is the time right time to look at the migration strategy to the lightning platform lighting components right cool um so you got a global action here and so let's say if I wanted to create a new action, right, for whatever reason. So you can uh, create a custom visual force page and and pick up, a pick and choose your right visual force page and then create a global action. That's that's pretty simple, right? Uh, nothing fancy here. So that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about today. Nice and easy, right? Uh, in next episode, we, we might dive a little bit more into visual force side of things. I do understand that you guys might be thinking, oh, we're not much into visual force. Yeah, I, I get that, but you know, from an exam point of view, you still need to know a little bit aspect of it, right? Even if, it's, like I said, like I mentioned this uh, when I started this lecture today, that even if you are not going to, you know, uh, learn visual force from an exam point of view, you still might need to, you know, learn from a product point of view. You know, some companies might have a legacy technology you might have to work on, right? You can't say, look, I don't know anything about visual force. That's not a good look, right? So. That being said, you guys have an amazing um, day uh, or evening, wherever you are. Adios.